needing services for your roofing and don't know where to turn? Contact the good guys, Roofing and Restoration, LLC, 956-239-4073. Ask for Javier. Okay, Fight Fans, we are here with the rain Rigo Rivera, training here at Diaz Boxing Gym. Rigo, it's a Thursday evening, man. Y'all getting that work in. How are you feeling? I feel good, man. I feel great. Uh, I came this back this week, and I feel I already feel in shape. I feel good, man. Ready to go for another fight. Got you, Rigo. Let's quickly recap, man, your fight against La Cobra, Daniel Martinez. Yes, he was sir. a 3-0, three-knockout fighter, man. Yes, what sir. are your thoughts as you reflect back on that fight? Uh, it was a good fight, man. It was a, I mean, I got my chin tested, but I stood my ground. I went in there, took the win. And, I mean, a lot of people, I was the B-side on that, on that fight, I believe. A lot of people thought I was going to um, take an L, but I came with the upset and I took the... I think in the second round, you yes, knocked sir. him down? Yes, sir. What were your thoughts when you saw him go down with that shot? <clears throat> I mean, it felt good. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, he was a three no, so I mean, I knew he had power, and for him to go down with my power, it just, you know, I shocked a lot of people. Got you, man. I told Sal after the fight or the day after, Rigo, you're like a human joystick. Yes, sir. Like a video game, you know, the joystick you yes, move. Sir, yes, sir. What What got you that uh, that style of moving going in, inside that ring? It's just, it's just more about being comfortable in there. Okay. I mean, more like. Feel, feeling loose, I feel like it's one of the best, most uh, important things in boxing is you got to be loose and you got to be confident in there. You can't be scared, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I just felt confident going in there. And when I when I knew I was catching him, so I just knew I just got to move around. You know, I, I adjusted to him the way I needed to and figured it out. Got you, Rigo. Less than a month later, you fought in Harlingen against Bobby Castro, man. What are your thoughts about that fight as you reflect back? That was a good fight too, man. Um, he was a tough opponent as well. All these other opponents I fought have been uh, positive records. So when I see Bobby Castro, I mean, Bobby Castro, I mean, when I was watching film on him before the fight leading up, and I knew it was going to be a tough fight. He was good, he's good as well. So, But taking the dub feels good as well. I mean, it was in his his city, I believe. It was in Arlington. Mm -hmm. That's where he's from. And it feels good when a lot of people, a lot, when I came out, a lot of people were booing me. And when I, when I, when I, when I walked out with the win, I mean, I got the support I, I, I deserve. So. Got gotcha, you, man. I think I watched one of the videos, and the first judge said 38-38. Right. What were your thoughts when you heard that 38-38? Nah, I didn't agree with that with that uh, scorecard by the judge. 38-38 was, nah, that was, that was that's too much. Of, that's too close to. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't believe that shit either. You felt like you dominated all four rounds. Right. Yeah. Got gotcha, you, yeah. Eagle. You're three and three and you're three and right? Yes, sir. What's next for you, man? Um, shit, whatever comes, whatever comes, man. I mean, I'm ready for the next fight. I'm ready to, shit, I could fight tomorrow. You feel me? I'm ready for whatever. Hopefully, you know, things go good. And we get a next fight in the next month or two. Gotcha, man. I asked you this at the press conference of Cavazos. Just training here with Coach Diaz, Coach Sal. Yes, sir. Sparring countless rounds with Fabian Diaz, yes, man. Sir. Do you feel like you're just sharpening in your craft? Right, yes, sir. That's what it is. Iron sharpens iron. And, you know, everybody here, they support me. They help me out. They give me what I need, and Fabian is that's the work. I, that's the type of work I need. That way, I know any other opponent I, I go against isn't gonna have the same skill and isn't gonna have the same power as Fabian. So when I go against these people, it's like it's light work to me. Cause I spar Fabian every day. Yeah, gotcha, so man. It's like everybody gotcha. here is a skilled fighter. So you know, every every time I get work with them, I mean, they all they do is I mean all we're doing is perfecting our craft. That's what it is. Gotcha, they make me better. Gotcha, man. Before I let you go, Rigo, do you want to say hi to anybody? Any shout outs you want to give to anybody? Just shout out to my team, man. Shout out to Coach Diaz. Shout out to Coach Sal. Everybody here that supports me. Big shout out to them. Looking forward to your future, Rigo. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time, man. Thank you, boss.